I'm Ryan Owens. And we're going to go. And this is Flight Tales. Woo! Woo! You wanted me to do it with you? Well, yeah. Oh. We're going to do this episode a little bit different. We don't care about Brennan anymore. Not too much. I'm not so that important. Now we're just here to uh, just kind of talk about uh, different different topics. And the first thing we're going to talk about is what happened this week at the flight school. And now for the runway report. I don't know what happened this week. Nothing too crazy. Nothing really crazy. I mean, we actually should have been on here when we had the week of the, you know, getting the new airplane or pro- in the process. We're still in the well, process of getting the new airplane. I mean, literally five minutes ago, the appraiser just walked out. Yes. So we got the appraiser. Yes. So we're we're moving forward. Moving forward. Getting moving a new forward plane. on that. And then, you know, we became a Sears training center. Big. That was that was probably a week ago though. And we had we had our first Sears student solo. I tell you what, I this t- Owens flight training. <laughs> we're on the way up. We're on the way up. We're moving on up. <laughs> first solo. We had two people solo yesterday. Oh, and yeah, that's right. That's right. We did have two people solo. Who was that? That was Parker and Mitchell. Mitchell, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two, two people, shirts. Two shirts. Two shirts gone. Yeah. Yeah. We should I, start can't doing, keep, I can't even keep track anymore. We should start doing the weird things that people do at like all their schools. You ever seen like the videos of the people that no. like, they like dump water, cut hair, like, w- it, it, listen, we could get real explicit we with some do, of the things they do. Wait, we should do souls. the water thing like the, like a sports, like when you win the game, you know, you yeah. get the bucket, the, the bucket Gatorade, on. but we need to get a Gatorade Uh there you go. Bucket. We buy buy a plane, buy a Gatorade bucket. <laughs> Gatorade bucket. <laughs> Gatorade it on bucket's their head. next. <laughs> a, yes. Yeah. So if they sold on five eight Bravo, it's a five eight Bravo bucket. Yeah. The there same you color go. code as everything. Uh, oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Some people were cutting hair though, and I'm not I'm not down yeah, with I'm that. Not, I'm not up for that. No. And then like, they had, like I said, we can get real explicit with some of the things they were doing. They had wooden paddles. Oh. I mean, we all know what they do. It was like I saw it was somebody. It was I've really never, inappropriate. I've never, where are you where are you seeing these? I don't know. It was the it was the weird schools where they make you wear the pilot uniform. Oh, oh yeah. And it was just like, yeah, this is weird. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that, please. Yeah, that's <laughs> one, don't make them dress up as pilots when they're not pilots. Two, don't whip your students with wooden paddles. Wait, I'm sorry, that's an actual thing. That is an actual oh, thing. Oh, in yeah. Florida there's a lot of them where they make you they make you wear the pilot shirt when and you're you've not got, an actual pilot. No, yet. no. Yeah. You've got whenever you become I guess when you get your private, maybe you get a stripe, but they slowly give you stripes. Yeah. Theirs is just like their uniform for their school. Like ATP has a uniform. Because they go every day. So they wear like black slacks, black shoes, a white collared. Well ATP has the co- polos. Yeah, they yeah. have the blue polos with the you can wear like cargo shorts and yeah. stuff like that. So it's not as formal, but they still yeah. make them wear a uniform. Hey, I went to school before they had uniforms. Like, yeah, I came to school with this ACDC shirt. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably, I think it was freshman year in high, in high school when we started getting uniforms. If not freshman, sophomore year, but it was, it was in high school when I started wearing uniforms. And we thought it was all stupid, you know, why are we wearing uniforms? Well, can't we just wear our regular clothes? Anyway, so uh, back to flight training. <laughs> this is this is kind of what we thought our first podcast would be. Just going off on tangents about random stuff, but you know, yeah, this that's is kind of what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, this is how it should be. We're trying to talk about flying well, though. When you get the yeah, we're not really talking about flying. <laughs> no, we're not. But that that is that is uh crazy with the whole pilot shirts. Like just they're students. I guess they're making them look more professional and getting prepared for the airlines and all that, but I don't know. So anything else exciting happen? I don't think so. Like this week. Oh, we had a bad mad check. That's what I remember. Yeah, and then we you, took off the spark plugs and Yeah. Th- those were brand new spark plugs too and we had to switch them out and then they <laughs> It's working good now. That's the interesting stuff going that on. Was going on. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. That was. Ex- I mean, we're busy. We're yeah, staying we're busy, busy so that's nonstop. Great. Yeah, so that's great. Got a bunch of students getting through all their training and stuff like that. But uh, exciting stuff is uh, bad spark plugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Now, time for today in aviation history. Aviation history. 
I don't know much about aviation history. You know, me neither. I don't really know much about aviation history. You knew where the Wright brothers flew. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you, it's kind of a like a pilot requirement, like you're supposed to know that. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't, and I got all the way to CFI. Uh, without... they, that should be number one question. That should be question number one on the check ride. Uh, do you know where the Wright brothers first... Uh, do you know these Flight? guys on your license? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, well, this one is a fail. <laughs> Amelia Earhart, today in history, she flew from New Orleans to Miami on her fourth leg of her second flight around the world. Second attempt. What plane did she fly? Like, what kind of plane? The Lockheed Electra 10E Special. What does this look like? I, I don't know what, a, I mean, uh, I wish, you know what? We need to get us a screen yeah. so we can have, yes. Oh, wow. That's a big plane. Yeah, I was about to say, that's yeah. a big plane. That's a big plane. I guess you need a big plane when you're trying to travel around the world. Yeah, I would think so. You know, you need a lot of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of fuel. Kind of need a big plane. Yeah. <laughs> I need to look this girl up. All I heard was, all I heard about Wait, her was So Bobby. you don't know anything about her? I know movie? a little bit about her from Bobby. But, but like you said, Bobby's, yeah, Bobby's all Bobby's all, man, you can't listen to Bobby. He's, <laughs> I was about to say. He's a little crazy. What I know about her is from Bobby. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's a little crazy. <laughs> I can't trust Bobby. Bobby got mad about, you know, not catching any fish, so. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby's. In, in those conspiracy theories. Yeah. Now time for some cockpit comedy. I do have a joke. I do have a joke. <laughs> oh, you got I, a joke? I do, not this one. But oh. I have a joke because I was reading something one time and it sticks out to me now. It was like a CFI joke. They were like saying, the worst thing my CFI has ever told me that I was so far behind the plane, if we wrecked, I'd survive. Oh. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sounds like, like something I would say. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, brother. <laughs> I got the dad joke one. What happens when the prop stops, the pilot starts sweating? Uh, <laughs> that's a good knee slap yeah i love dad jokes though <laughs> how do you know when a date with a pilot is halfway over he says well that's enough about flying let's talk about me <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty funny <laughs> It's time for Tower Talk. The Tower. Yeah, so what are we, some things that people struggle talk. with like, that we could just go I into? I mean, like, everything when they push the button. <laughs> uh, they struggle with everything talking to Tower when they push the button. But, you know, it would be nice to uh, have Tower people ask us questions about, you know, about the students. Because yeah. I'm sure they don't know what it's like to be in the plane and have to talk to them. Yeah, that's what you were saying earlier where you're texting Sawyer. And he was like, overwhelmed by what? We're yeah. Like, what do you mean? We're yeah. flying a plane, we're bro. We're flying a plane. He's overwhelmed. <laughs> you know, it's a fast airplane. He's got to talk to you. And yeah, we're not it's just not in like we're sitting in the lobby and just, just hanging out. You yeah, know, no. it's you're doing multiple things. You're multitasking. So if you're not a pilot, you don't realize that, you know, yeah. you don't get to see how the students struggle. Uh, Preston asked me the other day, like we were taxiing. Who I was with one one student in the Sears, and he was having a hard time because he got on clearance and asked for taxi when he should have been telling them like, "Hey, we're going to the north, climbing to three thousand. Oh, I got on the radio and I said, um, "Yeah, we're trying to get our clearance. We're gonna, you know, go to the north and climb three thousand. And Preston, it was Preston who said, uh, uh, "Oh, I was gonna get that on the way on your taxi," and I was like, "Nah, we can't do that." Yeah, And he didn't understand because, like, you know, I mean, you're trying to taxi and a student can't usually multitask like that. They got to do this task and then move on to the next task. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's hard for them because they're overwhelmed with the airplane. Well, you see the system, they, like, build up. Like, you build the system to where they, like almost like memorize everything they need to say. Oh, yeah. And then like the split second that Tower or anybody says something different outside of that robotic like yeah, that sequence, script, the they're script, like, yeah. the first thing they do is like, they'll be this and they'll go, <laughs> they'll, oh, that's they'll, right. they'll look straight at you. Yes. Like, like, <laughs> well, answer them. They asked you, you know, how long we're going to be yeah. in this area. Yeah, I mean, it's a we normal conversation. Yeah. You don't have to say a, a, a affirmative. Yeah. We're heading northbound on Juliet. Yeah. Just stop it. Just say, just talk to them like a yeah. normal person. Yeah. That's the first thing they do. It's that robotic 
Yeah. That's not in the beginning, though. I mean, that's like the first couple hours. That's when they very first... beginning. Like, I mean, we have a script for uh, doing the tower stuff, so they know that. They memorize that. They get that paper. But yeah, like you said, like if it's not on the paper, they don't know what to do and they're staring at you. It's like you're just talking to somebody on the other li- other end of that button there. Yep. You just to answer them, them just like you would. Do you spot the airplane in front of you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> you know, and I try to tell people like, you know, if you if you don't know how to say it in airplane terms, just tell them. We're going to circle around the cage dome <laughs> about a thousand feet, you know? That sounds like how you just talk when you get on the radio most of the time. That's how I talk on the radio Yeah, most I time. mean, you know, that tells them exactly what you're going to be doing. They all know where the cage dome is. Yeah. You know? No reason to make this more difficult than no. what it needs to be. Just keep uh, no. talking like a normal person. Yeah. And, but, I mean, we know because we've been up there a bunch that they don't have every landmark on their radar screen. No. But uh, they know where the major landmarks are. Yeah. That doesn't say on the screen, but they can oh. guess about. Like, yeah. Hey, that's They're probably, supposed to know. They should. You know, yeah. I mean. I mean, you Nick can see the Cajun even, Dome from like 50 miles away. Oh, yeah. It's got to be a major landmark. Well, you know, Nick lived here for three years and didn't know where Sunset was. Now he's. <laughs> now he got a girlfriend for Sunset. Yeah. Hey, it was like it was meant to be. <laughs> It's it was meant, meant to, be. to be. That's right. Speaking of him, I was trying to say something to him on the tower. He was. We were just talking on the tower. This is. Uh, he was saying something about. Oh, Sawyer says hey. And I was like, hey Sawyer. And I was like, man, y'all got a party up there now. He was like, yeah, we got three people up in the tower. This is the most staff we've ever been. I was like, yeah, it sounds like a party. He was like, you and me have a different definition of party then. <laughs> like, yeah, we just don't, we don't know what it's like, um, you know, on there, on the tower's end. So, like, if the tower people had questions, that would be great for them to ask us, you know, either either on comments or whatever, you know, on, on if they listen to this. Yep. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they listen to every podcast we put Please out. Please listen to podcasts. Please, <laughs> Please listen to this one. <laughs> but, so it, but yeah, if they could like ask us questions or put comments and say, hey, I was always wondering what happens when y'all do this, you know? I mean, I do it. I, yeah. I text him. Like if I do something and they're like, uh, they, like they don't get mad, but they get confused about what I say. Yeah. I'll text somebody after and be like, hey, should I have said something different or should I have done something different? And usually it gets all figured out then. So yeah. it helps when you ask questions. We don't yeah. know your side and you don't know our side. No. Let's work together yeah. and figure it out. Hoorah. <laughs> Let's get some pre-solo advice. Study. Top outbound from, bottom inbound to. Study all the time. <laughs> you heard? Yeah. Top outbound from, bottom inbound to. Nobody's going to understand that. No. No, Not they're going to have no clue unless we get Cliff Rice on here. <laughs> Nobody's going to understand. It's the best way it's, to learn how to do a certain yeah, thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a VOR, okay? Talking about VORs. Yeah, top outbound, front, bottom in. So just come to our school and we'll teach you. <laughs> we'll teach you, if you come to Owen Flight Training, what all that means. We can't tell you on here, though. Yes. it's a law, It's a uh, We need a whiteboard. And and it takes a long time to really understand it. What's a real tip, though? But a real tip would be to study. I guess my biggest thing I remember the most is, like, just getting through instrument and having a hard time just understanding everything with instrument and coming home from days of training where I struggled with stuff and just being like, I don't know if I should keep doing this, you know? (laughs) And then I end up. Kept doing it, and now now you're here. Now I'm here. You own your own flight school. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it, it this far it somehow. So yeah. I mean, that's the only. That's like my biggest thing that I remember. Just uh, just the challenge of 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 going through the rating. I was landings. Landings. Yeah, I sucked at landings. I in the probably beginning. had trouble with landings. I, don't I think remember. everybody has trouble yeah. with landings. I didn't know it uh, wasn't a big thing that just stood out to me that I can remember right now. I think mine was like, I, and I feel like a lot of students do it now where they come into land and we talk about keeping the nose down for yeah. so much that we want to keep the nose down until we get to our round out. And that was the part I was messing up is I would go straight into my round out and flare at the same time. And then I just, Oh, just fall out. The yeah. Sky. I just yeah. fall out the sky and yeah. it wasn't working. So like, I didn't really get landings until like I understood that it's not, you know, it's not a one step thing. It's a two step thing. You go, 
You got the nose down, then you round out, and you fly down the runway. You're looking at the end of the runway, and you're watching the plane fall, and as it falls, you slowly start pulling back uh, for flare. Yep. But if you understand that it's a two-step thing instead of a, a, a all-in-one kind of thing, it makes it a little bit easier. But that was the thing that helped me the most with landings. And now the finale, the final approach. The final approach? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's called the final approach. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, we're going to Rockin' on the Runway, which is going to be up in Sunset. Yeah, there you go. I was about to say Slide L for some say, reason. Sunset. I was about to say Slide L. I don't know why Slide L popped in my head. I was about to say, I like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Sunset. I've never been, so. Oh, well, you could have came last year. Why did you come? I could have, but I didn't. I was, uh. <laughs> I mean, why didn't, why didn't you come? I can't remember why I didn't come. I didn't mean it you in should've. like a. You know what? You uh, should have just canceled all the other things you had and come to Rocking on the Runway. I can't remember. I can't remember why I didn't go, but I didn't go for a reason. There was a specific reason why I couldn't go. No. I wanted to go because well, I think I talked about it with the end. Yeah, Ian and came and well, Ian and John and they gave uh, rods and. Uh, oh wait, no, it was probably right when I started training. That's probably why. Like I didn't know about it until. Oh after. yeah, so yeah, you started at the end of May or beginning of June. So yeah, yeah. it probably was. I was still doing like classes. And yeah, stuff. that's and we, what it was. I remember yeah. Ian talking about it with me, and he was like, "Why didn't you go?" I was like, "Well, I didn't know. Didn't know anything. Didn't, didn't we know. have it posted on the wall somewhere though?" Yeah, but yeah. I mean, mm. when you walk in, not every day no they go. <laughs> no, check this no out no excuse <laughs> well this is probably the uh this will i think it's the third year we've 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 been there like the first year i went i don't even think i had a tent i think i just gave rods the first time we went was uh 2021 and then the second year we had a tent no wait maybe it's been more than three what goes on here what what's what is I know it's an air show. Oh, obviously. they got an air show, but we but there's just a bunch of people that come and they 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 have a car show in the front. So they have a bunch of cars. There's food. There's there's the uh, airplane rides and like you know we bring the 172 to do the rides, but they have like a T6 I think and a oh god you know they got yeah. different airplanes. Yeah, jeez, yeah, <laughs> you're doing some crazy yeah, stuff out so, there. Yeah, so you know you could get a ride in one of those planes and then they have like uh, this year dj digital is going to be there who's a dj for 107.9 oh yeah I friday be, morning breakfast jam i was about to say i do be listening to 107.9 yeah, the friday morning breakfast jam <laughs> and then uh there's another band that's coming uh, uh pro dustin's probably looking it up right now and he's gonna tell us who else is playing <laughs> But they so said let, they me, have let me make the announcement. Well, his hangar over there is like super nice, isn't it? Oh like, yeah, it's, it's a like big a, hangar. Yeah, it's like a it's where he lives, huh? Yeah, he's got his house in the front, and then the hangars in the uh, back. I thought someone told me there was like a there was like a loft area where it was like a room, and it was like a kitchen in there. And yeah, someone well, told so me it was like got, super nice. In the hangar, he has like um, it looks like an old town. Like the the wall is kind of painted to where it looks like an old town, and you go into the room, and it's. It's got like a living room kind of deal, and it's got a kitchen and a bathroom in there. And then upstairs, I went upstairs last year, and they had, it's just storage upstairs. And so it's a charity event. Yeah, a charity event. Yeah, St. Mary's Residential Training School is the school. That's pretty cool. Bro Dustin helped us out with that one. So is it like people I'm sure it's you got to get a ticket to get in and stuff like that. that, that. Yeah, you got, so you can, I think you can pre Free buy tickets, um, but yeah, you can you can buy tickets when you get in. Nickel Beer Nick- is the other uh, band that's going to be there. <laughs> Nickel Beer. I'm trying to figure out if I was going to bring Leon or not. I think I was going to probably try to. I don't know if I can though. I I'll probably be busy. Are you bringing? I your mean, kids? uh, yeah, we brought them last time. They hung out at the tent. Oh, I'll probably bring. Yeah, you can let them hang out of the tent. Come uh, rocking on the runway. Come hang out the rocking on the runway. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, why that sounded like a question. <laughs> like, why that sound hey, like? Hey, come hang out, rocking on the runway. It'll be it was fun. Like, rocking on the runway will be fun. <laughs> I think. I yeah, think it'll be fun. It, it's been fun. So Since I, the last time it was fun. It's been yeah. fun. So we're doing discovery. I, I honestly, what? I I don't know what I'm gonna be doing over there. We're doing discovery flights, right? 
No, we just giving rides. Oh, that's cool. The charity event. Oh, free flights. Well, they got to pay for their flights, <laughs> but we don't get no money from that. It's oh. charity. That's fun. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Flight hours. Last year, they only had like two hours of flying or two hours where they gave the rides because- You got the air show. Yeah, because you got the air show and you got to get it done before it gets dark, so. Yeah. And last year, they had some weather that kind of, I don't know, a dark cloud that passed by and I was kind of worried, but then it cleared up, able to finish. Yeah. If you would have come last year, but uh, you were apparently I just started. You were just apparently busy, you know? I just started. Didn't even know about it. (laughs) But I know about it this year. All right, yeah. You come fly with come us. Come fly. Come, come, give, come, get, come get a ride on our planes. <laughs> What'd you say? I said rocking on the runway whispered and I looked into his soul <laughs> when I said it. And he went, yes, rocking on the runway. So come to our booth at Rocking on the Runway. Check us out. We'll have a, a, a tent and some brochures and the Cirrus will be there. You can look at the Cirrus. I'll be there. And... Yeah, that guy will be there. And just come check it out. I don't know. How do we end this thing? Flight tales. Woo-woo. If you made it this far, you listened to the entire episode. And for that, we would just like to say thank you, and we hope you enjoyed it. We would also like to thank Brennan Go for being my co-host today. If you have any questions about today's episode or suggestions for future episodes, just leave a comment or message us and we'll do our best to answer. If you'd like to check out some fun aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Owens Flight Training. Or if you'd like to get more information on becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot, just head over to our website, owensflighttraining.com. 